vote in Kansas sent a clear message on abortion, establishing a second neighboring state to Missouri with access to the procedure. Tonight, we're looking into how yesterday's vote in Kansas could affect Missourians. ABC 17's Layla Mitchell is live in studio for us tonight. Layla, activists tell you what happened in Kansas gives them hope for Missouri. Yeah, Lucas, and this was a pretty big move for Kansas, a red state, and that has people asking, what does that mean for Missouri? Now, Missourians will now have another neighboring state to go to to access the procedure, but that doesn't come without difficulties. There is only one reason that you change a state's fundamental underlying document, its constitution. And that is not to keep the status quo, that is to have other changes down the line. A monumental victory in Kansas last night for reproductive rights and pro-choice voters. Abortion access now protected in the state from Republican controlled legislature who want to ban the procedure. Largely, we serve Kansans, Missourians in Kansas. And after last night's vote, Missourians will have another state to travel to for the procedure. So this victory this week, yes, it emboldens us because it shows what we already knew, which is that even in a hostile red state, people support access to abortion. Abortion access is banned in Missouri, except in cases of life endangerment or when the patient's health is at risk. But traveling across state lines for the procedure can pose other risks. Time sensitive pregnancy care is harder to get takes longer to get and it's harder to coordinate for folks to travel to places like Kansas. We don't have enough providers and we didn't even before the Dobbs decision came down throughout the Midwest and the South. So patients were often looking across state lines, looking for the nearest appointment. Lawmakers in Missouri have worked on bills in the past to make it illegal for women to cross state lines to get abortions. None have made it to the governor's desk. And the Missouri Right to Life Political Action Committee tells me pro-lifers will be back in 2023 requesting pro-life legislator le legislature defund Planned Parenthood. I also reached out to Governor Parson for comment and have not yet heard back. Layla, thank you. Planned Parenthood Great Plains said it will work to accommodate any woman crossing state lines for the procedure.